Good day, everybody. Welcome to the Bible in a Year 2021. We are on day 333, and uh, we're reading through 1 Corinthians chapters 1 to 4. And as we move through Corinthians, we're going to see all kinds of different stuff. Um, a lot of things come out of, um, well, a lot of things, we're introduced to a lot of things in 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 the revelation that Paul has received through scripture and his relationship with Christ that's going to come out here in his um, in in his dealing with the the church in Corinth because they're having a lot of problems there's not a lot of maturity there and because of the lack of maturity uh, they're having uh, problems that maybe in other places they were able to face and, and overcome that um, it's uh, it, it's also a different culture and they have a, a culture of, um, of of debates, of, of a discussion, discussing new ideas and stuff. And, you know, it's very it's that centered in Athens, but Corinth is so close to Athens that um, they spend their time doing that as well. So there's all kinds of influences that that are there, and and there's um, so they're they're used to having. Um, Lots of different gods to worship, a lot of different ideas to discuss, and, and so on. And Paul doesn't want uh, Jesus to become just another one of many. And he doesn't want uh, the uh, the teaching, the apostles' teaching, to become just another one of many ideas. But the first thing he has to deal with is a uh, thing that comes out of their their immaturity and that also comes out of this cultural thing is the divisions that are being formed um, because different they, they have this idea that um, a teaching belongs to the teacher so they're, they're used to aligning themselves to a certain teacher a certain philosophy and and then they're known as being part of that philosophy and so this is what's happening in the church where some say that they are follower of of Paul, another follower of Apollos, another follower of Peter, another follower follower of Jesus, and and um, so Paul's dealing with this, and he says, guys, it doesn't work that way in the kingdom. Uh, we're all for you. you know, we we belong. All of us belong to you. It, it's not like you can lay claim to one single person. So I, I mean it. We, we can kind of understand this uh, today and in, 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 um, it's not supposed to be this way, but what we've developed is uh, a following of, of teachers, which isn't so bad. We're, we're supposed to have fathers and, and, and mothers, not the title like what, what our father has, okay, but just recognizing that these are people who... Um, uh, you know, we're, we, f we follow, they're the ones who have breathed life and they're, they're the ones who have brought us the message of Jesus Christ. They're the ones who have been discipling us. So there's, uh, we use that form of Paul and listen, I, I'm tripping over my own words here because this is important to understand, uh, because Paul refers to, to fathers. He, he refers to, um, being as a father to them and, and, and they're like his joy and he feels responsible for them um, and, and that's where this is coming from but uh, at the same time he he's saying like you know we all belong to you because we, we all bring something different to you one's going to come in and is going to lay down a foundation and another's going to come and build on that foundation and he, and he, all he says is be careful who you are allowing to come in and build on that foundation um you know, you're supposed to test the spirit and, and and all that. So he's trying to trying to deal with this to get them to understand that how it works in the kingdom is not the way it works in the world. And that the way that you're looking towards uh, these teachers is not the way you're supposed to be looking to these teachers. We all belong to Christ. We all belong to the Father. And and when we get in later on in in this letter in um, you know chapter 12 dealing with how what the church looks like and the different uh, the fact that we're all part um, 
of this we're all individuals but we're all part of this and then we go into first corinthians 13 where he says and this is how it works and so we're going to move through the letter we're going to deal with different problems we're going to get to that place uh that's so important for us to understand how this works how we uh, are individuals and yet belong to the body and how we are dependent on each other it's so important this letter to the corinthians is so vital for us to understand what the church is supposed to be and how it's supposed to function and and really from here then we can explore paul's other letters that give us gives us even greater revelation on on what the church um, is supposed to be like and where we fall short today okay so you guys be blessed today be encouraged and uh uh yeah, let's let's just get in step with the spirit so we're not causing division here. God bless.